On this busy stretch of Toronto Road, more drivers are caught speeding than anywhere else. Their vehicles clocked by an automated speed enforcement camera on Parkside Drive, where residents have long complained about dangerous driving. We've been sounding the alarms for many, many, many years. The street runs beside High Park, connecting drivers to Lakeshore Boulevard and Bloor Street West. The speed limit here is 40. Oh, you see some drivers going over 100 kilometers. This site has uh, cost speeders over $3 million in tickets. Is this just a cash cow for the city? They're not investing that money into making our streets safer, then yes, it is. That money should be going directly into fixing these issues. The data backs up those concerns. More than 2,600 tickets were issued in May, the latest month in data from the city. That's the most speeders snapped by any speed camera in the past year. Drivers have racked up nearly 30,000 tickets to date at the Parkside site alone, surpassing $3 million in estimated fines. The city says it's made several small changes to offer comfort, like adding a new set of traffic lights and allowing curb lane parking at all times on the east side to slow northbound traffic. But residents say the road must be redesigned. In the meantime, they're pushing for bike lanes and more protection for pedestrians. Between Bloor and Lakeshore, there's just one narrow sidewalk. You don't need to rip up the road. You don't need to do major reconstruction. All you have to do is reallocate the existing road space, and that's what we're looking for. So what's the fastest speed recorded by this camera? 126 kilometers an hour, according to the city. It's ongoing safety study of Parkside Drive, which includes public consultation on possible design changes, has been delayed until the fall. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.